them all out of my yeah. system. I did that in the mirror this morning. I oh. just sat there in the mirror. <laughs> just, <laughs> just bleached just, the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm ready for shot all right. show. All right, I got it on my system. I'm ready for shot show. What? Benjamin's trying to tell me something. I don't. My phone. Yeah. I know. But I was thinking, should I monitor comments? Because all our great listeners oh, out there yeah. are sitting there. And they're time. like, in real time, they can ask questions. See what's see really behind the scenes of the yeah. SHOT Show 23. Yeah. So that was my thought was actually doing, uh-oh. And I distracted you. You totally distracted me. My bad. Well, <laughs> here's what's happening is we've got people start flooding in. We're at SHOT Show 2000. 23 with my good buddy Jared Grove, also known as Box. Yeah. Okay, tell everybody how you got the name Box. Uh <laughs> it's it's silly. Uh there's <laughs> no, a it's not. there's a movie called Mall Rats. Yes. And in one scene in one of all those movies, the the character calls Silent Bob Lunchbox. He's like, show the, show and that's the you. Kitty some Lunchbox at the pet store. Yeah, so. So it's Lunchbox, but shortened to Box. Shortened to Box, yeah. So Lunchbox, big guy. Everybody knows me as Box. Yep. Uh, people try to email me at my work with the. Box.com. Box. <laughs> you, need, you need to do Box.com. Yeah, yeah. That IT at least department doesn't have as much of a humor. <laughs> All right, so SHOT Show 2023 here in sunny Las Vegas. I think it's sunny out there, but you see people going in the background. Um, it's, a, it's a lively show, and this is a show that is designed to introduce all the new stuff. So you guys out there um, get to see the new new um, while we're seeing it because SHOT Show is kind of mean, and, or they, they don't open it to the public. No, no. Pri private event only. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, Caldwell. What's Caldwell working on new? I know. Let's start with the thing that's not here. But we have video of it. We have awesome video of it. You you got an early, you showed your viewers the first Did we jump session. the gun on that? No, 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 no. It was perfect timing. Because okay. it came, it, we're selling them. Right. You gave a preview about a month ahead, I think. Oops. So, and that's all right. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> hey, you got to build that demand. I know. And the, what we're talking the about. The frenzy. Yeah. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. Because it has like a frenzy button. Flurry. Flurry. We could, change, flurry. It. We could change it to change frenzy. frenzy. It's just a sticker. Uh, so what we're talking about is the Caldwell Claymore. Um, and give a rundown of it. And we're showing beautiful. Oh, look, be at look at that. Look how beautiful you film that. that? Ben, ben no, filmed ben, that. Benjamin, Benjamin probably filmed, filmed it. That. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So it's a uh, it's our claymore like uh, thrower, clay thrower. It functions a lot like a traditional electric thrower, in where it holds fifty clays, mm -hmm. and uh, so you don't have to bend over and like reset the arm or anything. But right. instead of an electric thrower, where you have a twelve volt car battery, mm -hmm. uh, you used uh, foot pedals. So there's no batteries included so and it's required. Foot it's just foot pedal powered. So if you can pick up your foot and push it down, you're right. good. If you can walk upstairs, you can run a claymore. Really? Yeah. So, yeah. so give a few of the different functions on it because I know yeah. we did talk a little bit about the flurry. What's that about? So yeah, you're in your standard mode. We'll start with standard mode. In yeah. standard mode, you press this big center pedal down that loads the arm. It pulls the arm back and drops the clay, and then there's a smaller pedal that throws. It's a release. Okay. So if you're waiting for your buddy to say pull, yeah. yeah. Um, in flurry mode, you toggle a switch, and when you push the load pedal down, it loads, but when you let it up, it fires. So okay. as fast as you can press that pedal, you can launch clays. We've had like yeah. seven or seven or more in the air at once. Really? Yeah. I mean, Jeez. you can uh, burn as long through as some clays and shotgun Well, shots. because we were talking right before the show, and Chris Serena was on the or shooting, and it was interesting because we have that. You had you can't push it too hard, or you yes. will break a clay. I mean, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. that yeah. force going through there to pick up that clay, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we were just kind of discussing that, and we never had an issue with it. No, no, no. It's I think it's one of those things like you show it to people, and they're like, "Oh man, that's a really heavy spring. I need to really stomp really on this into thing." It. <laughs> no, it's really low effort. So uh, we've demoed it a lot, yeah. obviously, over the past year. And uh, every time I tell people, I'm like, it's okay if you break a couple clays off the get-go. Right. And then you'll feel for how uh, how little effort it really yeah. takes to load it. And then it's just flawless. That's yeah, so. It's it, so much fun. It's, it's really cool. Um, it's a really innovative product. 
The only reason we don't have it here is it's and a you, little big for your little table. It's a, yeah, our table's not big enough. And but Benjamin it, made some awesome, awesome video that we. He did. To use. He made some awesome video. Yeah. He put that together, and he's he's just so talented. Yeah. This is what you guys don't get to we're gonna, see. We're going to put of, that in his yeah. employee review for the year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need to get on that. I need, yeah. I need to get yeah, you're provide him some he review. He told me that. Oh, okay. Uh, but no, the Claymore is really cool. Uh, MSRP on that. Uh, three twenty nine ninety nine is MSRP. Okay. It's retailing around around three hundred bucks. Okay. And we also so why would someone choose that over like a over an electric truck? electric? I mean, what yeah. what are the so um, ours no battery required. So if you look at the cost for your your electric car, you got to figure another hundred dollars for a car battery. Yep. That you have to charge. And once it's dip gone, it's gone. Right. You know, and then you got to recharge. Uh, weighs about as much as a car battery. Our whole machine does. Yeah. So, and then our machine actually folds up um, to about half of the size of the symbol. Yeah. So, um, it's really easy for carrying and um, storage. Yeah. Like a lot of people don't think about that, but like, what do you do when you're not using? It just sits there. This clay throw. You got a huge section yeah. in your garage. Well, this folds up. You can up. put it on the shelf. Yeah. And um, that's what I liked about it is that it. And it's easy to fold up. Like yeah, there's not absolutely. a lot of effort. I mean, so super quick. So just getting it in and out. That's awesome. Um, so we got to like kind of preview that, but something that we didn't get to preview, and that I, which, which one of these do you want to start with? Um, I know that was that was probably the hardest question you're yeah. going to get from me today. I mean, you know, picking between. It's like between picking your favorite child. Yeah. Or your favorite pup. Favorite gun. Or your favorite uh, off-road vehicle. Oh yeah, no. We, let's not let's not <laughs> even start. Uh, so we'll start with our new uh, hearing protection that we've come out with. Uh, this is the Emax we're calling the Comms. Okay. And so what you're looking at is a set of electronic Bluetooth compatible okay. ear hearing protection, but with a built-in two-way radio that comes with uh, has an ambidextrous mic, so this can come to the other side. So for right okay. or left-handed, you have so a if long you're shooting rifles yeah. or something like that. You can you have a long boom side. mic for for a little clear communication, yep. especially um, depending on your conditions. Windy, or windy comes conditions, with a, you'd want to use the boom. Uh, yeah. Okay. Or really loud indoor ranges yeah. and stuff like that. Or if you're using the voice activated, it's a little bit better on gotcha. that. Gotcha. Um, then you have a short microphone that can plug in. Um, if you don't want the long boom mic, so you don't want to look there. completely tactical and operatorish. Yeah, yeah, you go yeah, to yeah. this little, little lower key. That's the this. Are you calling this the gray man mic? <laughs> Maybe we should. <laughs> you have any problem with me using that? I got no problem with you using that. Yeah, but the cool part is it also has a built-in two-way radio. So similar to you know like a walkie-talkie like uh -huh. people are used to, it's built into the headset here. And you have 22 channels. Okay. So if you're running uh, multiple pairs, you can communicate back and forth. If you're on a range giving instruction, right. any kind of scenario where you want to speak clearly through right. um, into the speakers of, of the hearing protection, you don't have to go through an external microphone and then right. process through. You're just going right direct in, right? Um, so, uh, other so instructors out there, if you're listening, it all links together. So... This is another – see, I keep going back to Chris Serino. He's standing right there. It's um, hard not to see yeah, him. I know. It's, yeah. it's, it's difficult to see him. But he is a great instructor, and he sees value in this as far as, like, being able to provide information to his, you know, the instructors that are helping him. Yeah, absolutely. And imagine just being able to, like, give your clear com range commands, somebody at the end of a firing line. Right. They're, you know, it's always hard to hear down there, mm -hmm. even with Electronic Gear Pro. Yeah. Um, especially on a loud range. So it's cool to be able to speak through the, the system itself. It does voice activated, or you can do push to talk. Okay. And be push to talks on both of them. Really, the layout of this is it's great. You can take these off of the headband okay. and, and helmet mount them. We had a lot of people oh, request really? on our original Emacs Pros mm -hmm. uh, of wanting to helmet mount it. Well, when we designed this, we're like, okay, we'll make we'll it, just do it. Make it helmet mount compatible. All right. So there is that option, too. And 22 uh, channels? 22 channels. Okay. Um, but also, so you have the comms, you can communicate with other people with comms. Right. To add on to that, we came out with what we're calling the link. Um, we called this the link because you can compare this to any of our Bluetooth ear pro. So okay. shadows, shadow pro, 
Emacs Pro BT will Bluetooth Please. wireless pair to this link, and then you can communicate with anybody that has comms. You can communicate with anybody else running a link. Yeah. If you don't have Bluetooth, you can um, use the audio jack and run a wire up to okay. any of our electronic earmuffs. This will work with any uh, Caldwell electronic earmuff product, yep. even the legacy stuff. No and kidding. then now you have a whole communication network. So this links you into the network. So every right. person, every user would need one of these that's okay. running so you can put it in your pocket or right. whatever. But then... If but it'll automatically link those Shadow Pros yeah. and all those. And you just select the same channel. No kidding. And so this, the advantage of this is that it's built in all in one unit. Yep. Um, but to keep you uh, involved with everybody else, you know, and if you already have um, a set of Bluetooth right. or something like that, we, you can just buy a link and yeah. still communicate so, in the system. So two things they always ask, how much and when's it? When can we buy it? Yeah. So <laughs> these are running right around 150 mm -hmm. for the comms. Uh, they're going to be mid-year, so like yeah. June, July. Um, I do then, like the ability to switch these out. Yeah. I really like that. Um, gives you a different option. Yeah. Um, if you lost one of these, let's uh, say. Call customer service. Customer service? Yeah. Yeah. Because they'll, they'll it looks like a standard audio jack. Yeah, it's jack. an audio jack. Yeah. 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 So yeah. that's but, interesting. We stand behind all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we understand how it is. I lose I know, because I, this, I would lose this. Oh, yeah. Paint them, ooh, paint them orange. <laughs> and and yeah. then it, I'm coming you're, up you're, with all You're losing the gray of, man thing. Then. <laughs> oh, that is true. Yeah. That is a good like, point. What is that orange thing sticking yeah. out of that guy's? Yeah. <laughs> Why has he got it in his mouth? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, um, all right, so they all link together, and I think we have a graphic that kind of shows oh, that. We, yeah, oh, I think there's a graphic. Awesome, yeah. That, that shows the ability to yeah, link them all to, together. And I think they already showed. There it is. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so exactly you can just, how it goes. Hey, oh, hey. it's his third time. Oh, We're okay, so well, wrapped up into communication yeah. here. Uh, it's, but, it's the first one, guys. Yeah, like, yeah give us a break. <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> KJ's a little rusty from last year. <laughs> um, all right. So this okay. was one of the cooler ones that I, I saw. And I'm kind of going to save the best for last. I know. Uh, but it's the uh, smallest but, one uh, It is the smallest. It's also the, the most uh, affordable, ridiculously so what is it? low price. So it's, it's, not, a, it's, it's, it's not a legit flashbang. No. Uh, legal department <laughs> yeah. shot us down on uh, making it a distractive device. <laughs> um, we're calling it the flashbang. What this is is a target hit indicator. So you showed our steel targets last year. Yep. Um, so we've gotten really big into the AR500 steel. And one of the things that we've noticed, especially when we're shooting extreme long range, yeah. you really – can't see the impacts. Yep. So we started out, we wanted to make a hit indicator. Well, um, typical hit indicators are very expensive. Very expensive, around $200. Yeah. Um, so it's, I'll uh, look at that. Right it's at you green. guys. Um, Thanks. What this the camera appreciated. The camera, the camera really loved it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what this does is it Velcros, you put a piece of Velcro on the well, not Velcro, hook and loop. Hook, yeah. TM. You can you cannot <laughs> yeah. use that word. We use hook and loop. Can you delete that? Yeah, back that up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dang it. All right. Oh, it's live. That's why. Live. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we we use hook and loop. Um, so you put a piece I'm on the steel target. I'm not going to be able to forget that <laughs> now that everything's hook and loop. <laughs> hook and loop. Uh, so you have a piece on your target, and then you stick this to the on the back side of the target. The LEDs just stick out the side, and then when the target's hit um, – it will flash, so yeah. um, uh, show that you hit the target. So on really long-range targets, it's, yeah. it's necessary, and I understand, like, Thanks. $200. But um, when we got to developing, we're going to sell these for twenty nine ninety nine. And what we found is that we just put them on every steel target because yeah. it adds another reaction. Yeah. Like, you love hearing the steel ring and seeing it but move, and now it flashes lights it. at you. Oh, yeah. Even well, better. another good thing about it is, is there are more night shoots happening, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, oh, and 22? 22, That'd exactly. So, the, yeah, the NRL and stuff where they're yeah. shooting the um, the rim fire. Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, – and it's super sensitive. So, Can um, you make one that is a miss indicator? It would – you would just burn <laughs> through batteries on yours. 
I can't. He is right. You know, he'd be like, it lasted one race trip. But it has to go, it has yeah. to blink red. And this is like 50,000 hits, by the way, or something ridiculous. Really? It's, it's not even like, like it so, runs on three AA batteries and it lasts a, a lifetime. Really? Yeah. Three AA batteries. Three AA's. There's 99. a little simple on off switch. You stick it on the target, oh. turn it on, hit the target, it'll flash. So, guys are going to ask, I mean, they're going to ask, well, wait, what, what happens? If, I'm going to shoot it. Yeah, like it's gonna happen. Because uh, you buy, guys have buy another one for twenty nine ninety nine, and that's it. Um, we kind of made them disposable, but also each one of these LEDs is wired individually. Okay. So if you take one out, the other ones still work. Gotcha. So we've purposely shot it and still had partial function. Um, you know, when we were looking at, we were really trying to hit that price point of just making it a disposable. Yeah. This target, any bullet fragment or spall coming off that mm -hmm. target face, doesn't impact it. Right. It's below flush. Um, so, uh, yeah, when you guys, with you, you know, you'll probably be buying a few when you're I getting will. those close misses. Those close. are close, though. I mean, we can almost count that as a hit. That, really. Technically, we you just did expanded hit the target. You expanded the target. <laughs> so yeah. Technically, that's a thirty dollar hit. Um, but yeah, well, most the, most of our most of your viewers though won't have a problem hitting their target. No, they don't. They don't uh, have a, a no. problem at they're, all. They're marksmen. That is that is pretty slick and it's compact. Yeah. So you can just throw these yeah. in and yeah, and if you leave your targets on the range, you can pop them off. Yeah. Um, they are weather like weather resistant. Yeah. Um, to where like if it starts drizzling on them, no, problem. not a big deal. But don't leave them out. Don't like, leave them yeah. out. No. See, that's a that's a note for all you guys. Don't leave them out. No. Do not. Uh, I leave shut them it out. off. You shut it off. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to flash the camera too much. Oh, okay. The bin yeah. over there was. They, they, they blinded him mad. for a They second. do get mad. Yeah, it's, it's, I, it's I, a little jarring. I ruined that video. <laughs> I mean, we, this is live. We cannot do. We cannot back <laughs> no this up. No take backsies. No take backsies for sure. <laughs> oh. um, all right. So, what do you got going through the show? What? So, a guy like you coming to the show. Uh, what's your goals? What are What are you looking for? Um, really showing off the new products to people. I love doing that. Like, um, get seeing people get excited yeah. about. The Claymore, which we actually, um, sorry if you couldn't come and see it, but we actually have it set up inside of the Caldwell booth launching 3D printed clays. Are so, you serious? Yeah. We have like a batting cage built, and uh, having people throw the Claymore and stuff has just been awesome. Showing off all the new stuff, yeah. showing people the flashbang on a target and tapping it and that's seeing it cool. go off, and they're like, oh, that's cool. And then you tell them it's 30 bucks, and they're like, oh, my god, Oh, gosh. that's even better. Yeah, give me a case of them. <laughs> Um, that's it. You know, got to get a case. Yeah, and so that's awesome. Meeting the inf the the people that we do, the influencers yeah. and stuff that we work with, people like you, Not mostly, an mostly, mostly Chris. <laughs> and yeah, Ryan. I think it's all Chris. Yeah, Chris and Ryan. Yeah, mainly. Uh, I mean, you're you're a close third. <laughs> a close third. Yeah. That means I'm not really yeah. third. Yeah. So close. Well, all good, all good, man. Uh, well, box. Thanks for stopping by. Um, have a good show, dude. Because it's. It's, it's a grind. A it's a grind, but we're all good. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, yeah, we are. We are brought to you by Palmetto State Armory. This live is brought to you by Palmetto State Armory. But are you? I bet they'll have them on their website. Probably, yeah. Uh, we yeah. sell lots of PSA. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. So, all right, Caldwell.com. CaldwellShooting.com. CaldwellShooting.com. Go check them out. <laughs> um, coming out soon. When's the flashbang going to be ready? April. April, so can't wait for April yeah. and all my misses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You guys have a good Hey, we're going to be back for more um, at SHOT Show 2023. That's Box. I'm KJ, and we are out. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. You can also watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at GunTalk.com. Thanks for watching.